Hey guys, quick question. Why are people obsessed with sitting in front of the TV and watching sports? The short answer is, the sense of belonging is unmatched. Take football for example. I'm a Philly based artist, so imagine the sense of community pride when our Eagles soared to victory in last year's Super Bowl. Well, it was non-existent to me. Because I only follow basketball and our 76ers aren't doing shit. <laughs> to many people though, the sense of community can make them feel a part of something bigger. I want to welcome you all back to Monitor Comics, the place where we talk about creating comics and manga. In this episode, I want to go over the appeal of the sports genre and how you can take your love of sports and turn it into a compelling story. To a good amount of people, sports are more enjoyable than television or movies. The reason for this has to do with inner personality. Think about it. When we watch television shows or movies, we subconsciously draw a line between us and the characters on screen because we know facts from fiction. Even if we love a show, we always know that a show is just a show. In contrast, sports are a personal experience. The athletes are real people like you and me. Sure, actors in the television shows are like you and me, but you know what I mean. As a kid, I'm sure you like to run around with your friends during recess and go out and play. During this time, you might have played soccer or softball or whatever. Sigmund Freud would credit this childhood experience with society's deep interest in sports. Essentially, the idea of professional sports is surreal because it's just a glorified version of adults playing a children's game. For this reason, we feel a connection to the athletes we watch on television. We want to support them because every one of us had the potential to end up in that spot had we taken that step in life. This fascination with the personal experience is amplified if you have actually played a sport growing up. I can almost guarantee you that if you played volleyball in high school, then you would fangirl over the quick moves in high queue. This excitement relates back to the personal aspect. We enjoyed playing a sport when we were younger, so seeing somebody else play it now in adulthood initiates a pleasure response in our brains. Now imagine what goes on when you mix fact with fiction. Sports anime is essentially that. Fake characters who participate in our beloved pastimes. This is the appeal of the sports genre. So let's break it down. What makes a sports manga so addicting? The first tip for creating a successful sports manga has to do with your research. You have to know every nick and cranny of your sport topic if you want to write a story about it. Passionate fans and ex-players will be able to tell if your depiction of the sport is inaccurate. However, the vice versa is also true. If you successfully portray the fundamentals of the rules and the gameplay to a certain sport, you will gain the approval of former athletes and new fans. By knowing your stuff, you'll be able to hook new readers who may be non-athletes, and you'll also be able to hook ex-athletes to take an interest in your work. Let's take a look at some popular sports manga. Haikyuu for example since I mentioned it before. Haikyuu's very first page explains how volleyball is a game of height and throughout the first chapter we are introduced to the gameplay mechanics of the sport and how athletes train for their matches. This is cool for the new casual viewer because they're seeing a world they've never personally experienced. But this is twice as cool for the ex-athlete who loves this sport regardless and sees something they're passionate about animated or illustrated. This reassurance creates excitement and validation. If you can nail your fundamentals, then you can build your actual plot around it. Since volleyball is a sport of height, it's interesting that the main character is someone who is significantly shorter for a player. This underdog character creates sympathy from every kind of reader because casual viewers and ex-athletes alike know that a short person will have a hard time competing in a sport like volleyball. The next tip for writing a sports manga is generating excitement. Battle manga have superpowers, sports manga has special moves. While it's all nice and dandy to know your fundamentals of how a sport should be played, the artwork has to stand out if you want to succeed. The reason for this is because if someone wanted to just watch people play a sport, then they could go spend the time watching real sports on a real TV. The advantage sports anime has over real life sports is the music score and animation quality. Through dynamic posing and flashy moves, the sports adaptation can generate way more tension and hype than real life sports where you're listening to a somewhat funny commentator. Let's take a look at Kuroko's basketball for this part. As a basketball fan, I know that the main moves are shooting, dribbling, and passing. This is amplified through the introduction of the generation of miracles in Kuroko's basketball. Each character has a superhuman skill such as Midorima's full court shooting range or Akashi's vision of the entire court. Although subtle skills, these special skills really make reading sports manga fun. 
Special skills don't always have to be flashy like Hiroko does, but special skills should be present in your story as a sort of power scale. My third tip for writing great sports manga is to focus on shonen ideas. In my previous video I went over the appeal of shonen manga. If you haven't seen that video yet then please click the card on the top right corner right now and be sure to check that out. Basically, in a sports manga you want to focus on friendship and youth. Sports are a coming of age pastime. That's why most sports series are set in high school or below. The energy of young people amplify the excitement created by fast paced games. Friendship is also important because I'm sure you've heard there's no I in team. If you thought friendship was relevant in adventure manga, friendship is everywhere in sports manga. Characters have to work together if they want to succeed. This creates opportunity for character arcs and character chemistry. The team acts as a unit and requires everyone if they want to succeed. My next tip is towards plot progression. Most sports manga follow the power creep formula. Essentially, you introduce one big bad after the previous one is defeated. This can be shown through the defeat of an opposing sports team. You can also take advantage of a tournament arc and a training arc to develop new special skills or increase team compatibility. While it's cool to see your main characters win, remember winning isn't everything. In fact, we sometimes learn more from failure. For this very reason, don't be afraid to throw your characters a curveball every once in a while to remind them that they aren't unstoppable. Typically, longer running sports manga are seen as repetitive, with no real development taking place. To avoid this, try to focus in on your character improving themselves on and off the court. Sports manga are also well known for being straightforward with their themes. While fantasy and action titles do a good job of keeping your brain distracted from the overall message, sports anime present it right in your face. This straightforwardness carries over into the humor as well. Comedy specific manga are always a hit or miss because something funny in Japan may not translate well to wherever you're from. In contrast, the humor found within sports manga tends to be straightforward and having to do with a flop from the sport or a character doing something stupid. This is something that anyone can relate to and find funny. So remember, sports manga make non-sports fans hype. They also make avid sports fans hype. Sports manga have a knack for appealing to a wide demographic. Hence, this is why they're so successful in both the East and the West. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If you found any value in this video, please drop this video a like. Please hit that subscribe button and like the video so you don't miss out on any more of my juicy content. Be sure to check out my previous videos so you can learn all about the juicy secrets in manga making. Like always, you can find the links to all of my social media accounts down in the description below. If you guys could share this video around, you'd really be helping me and the channel out. Please drop a comment down below on what you'd like to see next. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one.